Hi there, it's Hunter from the SSSR. This year we're jumping in, doing new things. I'm very excited to be joining you today to talk about what's to come in 2024. Why am I even here right now in a totally different format than you're used to probably seeing me? I'm gonna answer that all in today's video and share so much more that I cannot wait. So thank you for being a part of it and let's get watching. As I was thinking about my goals for 2024, I really wanted to challenge myself this year. I have really always loved making music and that will always be the main focus of this channel. I wanted to be able to use this platform that we have here and the friendships that I've already made to do a little check-in. What's been going on in the land of the SSSR and what is that going to look like as we head into this new year and really start doing some things that make me uncomfortable. And it's easy to become stuck in our daily routines. And that's why this year I wanted this to kind of be an opportunity each month to do a little check in with you. What's going on in our land? You know, what's the challenge of the month to really push myself into doing things that I'm uncomfortable with? One of those things is vlogging and putting myself out there. I absolutely love watching content on YouTube and TikTok and you know all of the social media followers like I'm a huge content consumer and I love to create content so why not apply that love to this this project which is so much more than just music I think there's gonna be a lot of change this year not even just within the realm of the band, which I obviously don't want to like give away any spoilers or anything. And a lot of it's still kind of in the works. Music is so much more than just, I've got a new song, pre-save it now, or the visuals that go into an album cycle. I think, especially as like an independent artist, it's so easy to feel like I wanna pour all of my energy into those projects, and I do. And I also wanna be able to share it with you, share what that process looks like, you know, especially because I do most things by myself, if not with the help of friends. It wouldn't be possible without you know, people being there to support it, whether that be the friends or even the online friends that I've made, like you, potentially watching. So with that said, I'm kind of currently doing right now, you might see behind me, I have a little green screen, see? I am currently doing a little bit of camera testing for a new project within this project that I'm working on. I don't wanna share too many details yet, so my challenge to myself this month, something that makes me feel uncomfortable is starting a vlog channel. So obviously if you're watching this, you're watching this in February and it's currently January. So I'm really excited to share some of this with you. But I think that's one of the things where if you don't do the things that scare you in life or that push you to your comfort zone, you're never gonna grow, you're never gonna learn. And so that's kind of what this is all about. As I continue to pour myself into these new projects that I am super excited about and that will be hosted here if you ever want to check them out, definitely be sure to subscribe and like this video if you want to see more like it. Uh, I definitely want to kind of show you some more vlog style footage of, you know, what I'm working on that month, what I'm doing, and just give you a little glimpse into that process. There's so much more to me as a person, like as much as I love music and I love everything that I do with my business, I also have other hobbies as well. You know, I started embroidering last year. I love working on like sewing projects. Like for example, this turtleneck. Um, so I DIY'd this, like I bought it at a thrift store. It was like a huge turtleneck. You know, I love working on projects like that. So 
Are you interested in seeing stuff like that? Sometimes there's stage outfits that I create from things I thrift and I would love to be able to share that somewhere. I have so much fun working on those and I feel like I'm a super beginner sewer and I know that I've learned so much already through this process, a lot through the help of my sister, but I just feel like it would be so fun to be able to share things like that that I don't typically have an avenue to really share outside of here. Like for example, I went thrifting and I bought this really nice Brooks Brothers shirt. So that's kind of one of my goals. Like would you all be interested in seeing that at all? I don't know. I can also share behind the scenes of our new music. I have a big goal for myself this year and I don't want to necessarily like put it out in the universe just yet. I am just kind of starting the beginning pieces but I guess a little hint would just be new music. Back when I first started this project, I used to do all of the time uh, a lot of recording and demoing myself. And in that, I got to really experiment with what the production could sound like. And I think that's something that over the past few years that I've found incredible people to collaborate with. I have kind of strayed away from that. I don't experiment as much as I used to. And I think that's something where using this year as a way to not only record new music, but to really like become proficient in the tools that I'm using and understand how I can use them to capture the sound that I'm after, I just think would be super beneficial. I think it's beneficial for any musician. I think it's super powerful that in this world now we have such an avenue to just create. Technically you don't need a producer to produce your track, but it's nice to work with somebody that understands what you're after and can help bring that to life. And I think that's something where as an artist, if you kind of know, oh, this is how I can achieve that sound, or this is similar to the sound I'm going for, it just makes it so much easier to communicate too, to everyone around you. So I'm just really hoping that this is a new year full of change and learning and opportunity to expand outside of what's been comfortable over the past couple years. This is my fifth year doing this project and I'm just so ready to make it into more of an immersive experience. So I hope over the next couple months as I start to unveil more and share more of these projects with you through the vlogs and everything else that you continue to tune in and hang out with me, hopefully see what's going on behind the screen. So a little bit of what you might see in this month's vlog. As I'm currently hanging out with you, it has been snowing all week in Nashville, which is crazy. So I've been stuck inside, just working, planning, doing a lot of goal setting. We're currently in January, so I just really wanted to be intentional with this year. You know, this is my third year as a small business owner, my fifth year doing this band that I started back in college and it's just so crazy, you know, where life can take you, but I think ultimately there's still so much more that can be unlocked when you start to push your boundaries and push what you know and what is comfortable for you. Welcome, we're in my room. So I figured I would show you a little bit of what's going on here. I figured if I'm gonna start recording myself, I really wanna start off with something basic. So what's gonna be better than an SM57? And we can do a little testing. So I realized the back of the power was not plugged in. So I plugged in the power. I'm gonna plug in some headphones because I don't know that I'm hearing what's actually happening here. Okay, here we go, here we go. So I'm gonna put one of these in and of course, my in-ears are bedazzled. Though I did it myself, so it's a little shitty. So this one works. I'm curious, can you see the green? That's how we know. The bane of my existence is, is these things coming out of my ears. And the only way I figured out how to not have it go behind my ears is to use a bread tie. I'll have to show you more about that. I'm sure I have like archive clips somewhere. So that actually brings up an excellent point. I have so much footage from past music video shoots, old shows, just 
just so much random footage that I never used anywhere online. Is that of any interest? Like, for example, like the killer music video, I filmed a bunch of behind the scenes for that, and then I just never did anything with it. Right, would you wanna see the behind the scenes of the killer music video? If you haven't seen it, I'll link it here, down below, wherever, so you can watch it. We also put out a short film, probably like two years ago at this point, maybe. That was super fun to make, but also, again, I have so much behind the scenes footage. So you tell me, uh, I'm open to whatever. I love editing videos, so make me put that footage to use. All right, so we're gonna test the next one. Hello, hello, hello. Testing, testing. Okay, so it works. That's good. Uh, so getting used to vlogging, I actually just went and picked up a drum kit. So I'm super excited. I'll kind of give you guys a glimpse at this brand new drum set. I'm very excited. If you're watching this, this is probably around the time that G Flip is having a big moment with their clip of playing Cruel Summer by Taylor Swift. So I'm like, is right now my G Flip moment? Do I learn how to play drums? I don't know. Um, but yeah, so. I'm just really excited. I am gonna get everything set up and then I'll give you guys a glimpse at what it all looks like. Right now it's obviously just like all over the garage here. So I'm gonna get it all set up and then yeah, let's go for it. Yeah, cue the time lapse of me figuring out how to set up a drum set as someone that knows nothing about drums. My January recap and I hope you'll join me for future recaps I'll be here every month at the minimum with new videos to share with you of behind the scenes footage things like that I feel like today is it's a little more story time just chit chatting you and me just to kind of tell you what to expect over the next couple months I'm really excited to push myself this year and I would love to hear what your goals are for the year. Be sure to drop those in the comments. I would love to join you on your journey, support you, cheer you on. I know that I am really excited for what the year has in store. I think change can be a very beautiful thing, as scary as it is. And I want to be able to share all of those terrifying and amazing moments with you here. Thank you for joining me today. I am really excited and I'll see you next time.